At the Redneck Yacht Club in Charlotte County earlier today, four in your corner learning the man who was flying it has third degree burns over 40% of his body, but he's still so lucky to survive the impact. He's expected to be okay overall. Danny Kelly operating that gyrocopter at his own park. He owns the Redneck, Redneck Yacht Club. The crash leaving the aircraft hardly recognizable, scorching the surrounding land. Four in your corners, Tara Molina in Punta Gorda with more tonight. Beyond these gates at the Redneck Yacht Club, things have been known to get a little crazy. But this afternoon, it was more than crazy. It was tragic when the owner of the club crashed a gyrocopter and headed to Bradenton Medical Center with severe burns. Now tonight, as the FAA investigates the crash, many are wondering, how did this happen? I asked an expert. Mangled metal, two wheels, and a charred propeller. It's all that's left of Danny Kelly's gyrocopter. It looks almost like a skeleton of a vessel. It crashed at the Redneck Yacht Club around noon, starting a fire that tore through about five acres of land before Charlotte County Fire could put it out. We still don't know if the gyrocopter caught fire in the air or before takeoff. Redneck Yacht Club staff telling me off camera, Kelly, the owner of the club, was flown to Bradenton Medical Center with severe burns. The male had suffered some second and third degree burns, so our medics called the trauma alert. According to this Instagram post from Kelly's son, he is, quote, coherent and talking, but will have surgery Friday morning. While the FAA investigates what may have caused this crash, I asked expert pilot Jean Lewis what may have happened here. She says she's never flown a gyrocopter, but it's much different than a small plane. It's kind of like you're sitting on a chair with a propeller over top of your head and uh, a little lawnmower engine. And she tells me the weather today may have posed a problem. It's pretty windy today, and those gyrocopters are pretty small, so that could have been a factor into the accident. A factor and a problem that this expert pilot says she isn't familiar with. And an airplane will, can glide if, you know, the engine quits or something goes wrong, where a gyrocopter, I don't believe it can. Redneck Yacht Club staff tell me that Danny Kelly is recovering overnight at Bradenton Medical Center. He should recover and should be out by tomorrow morning. Now, the FAA is still investigating what caused this crash, but you can count on four in your corner for updates as soon as we have them. In Punta Gorda, Tara Molina, Fox 4, in your corner. Thank you.